How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Today, the CFO of Workhorse was interviewed by Jack Spencer of Jack Spencer Investing on YouTube, and this is the second time they've been interviewed, and today he kind of alluded to Workhorse getting a major part on the USPS contract, and I want to go over that. I want to show you little snippets of the interview. So, Jack, if you're watching this, thank you for doing this. This was awesome. Uh, I didn't plan on covering Workhorse again today. I've been covering them a lot recently. This interview is just really insightful and really helpful just as a workhorse investor. So again, thank you, Jack. I give him major props for being able to talk with the CFO, not stumbling through. I know I edit more than what he did. Uh, so that is awesome. Also, I'm going to put the full link to his video in the description below. So you can take a look at that afterwards if you haven't already seen it. But I threw Jack a like um, for this video. It's awesome. And I'm going to break it down, like I said. But before we do that, if you don't mind hitting the like button, I really appreciate it. It really helps out my channel a lot. And also, I kind of like to tell you about some referral bonuses that you can get because I know a lot of people are starting their investing journey. So if you want to support the channel and then also get some free money too, SoFi Money, I put a link down there below to SoFi Money. And they have a bonus right now where if you set up a direct deposit of $500 or more, then you can get 50 free dollars in the referral bonus. So I'm going to put that down below. If you have any questions, let me know. But I actually use them personally, and they do pay about a quarter percent APY, which is kind of nice too. So let's get into the video here. Jack had about a 15 minute interview with a CFO. And I'm just going to talk on some major points. Jack, hopefully, you don't mind me using parts of the video. I'm not going to cover too much. I don't want to cut out too much of the video and take too much away from what it shows, but we're just going to hit on the main points that I thought were really interesting. So this is the first major point here. I'll let you watch it and then I'll kind of cover what he says afterwards. The main components uh, of the uh, agreement really is they're going to do an operations assessment of our Union City facility and kind of the all around it, the purchasing and everything that goes into actually making a manufacturing a truck and they're going to do an evaluation for us. So from our standpoint, the evaluation is not looking for us to get to the five a month or so that we're going to try to do at the end of this quarter, in the, four, in the fourth quarter. Their evaluation is really saying, okay, we know you got to try to do, you're going to do five a month in the fourth quarter, and that's your goal. We're trying to, you know, your next step is to get to 10 a month, or 10 a day, I'm sorry, 20 a day, 30 a day, 40 a day, you know, 10,000 orders for the, for a year, for an annual amount. and. We will look at your operations and say, here's our recommendations and how you can do that. So that is really important. He was talking about the strategic alignment with Hitachi that came just earlier this week. And what he was saying was their main purpose in that agreement is to have Hitachi come look at their facilities and help them ramp up production. So get them to about 10,000 vehicles a year at their facility. And that is a very interesting number. So 10,000 vehicles a year at about $50,000 per vehicle is about $500 million. If you multiply 500 million times five years, that's about $2.5 billion. If you multiply it by six years, that's about $3 billion. And if you know anything about the USPS contract, that's for about $6 billion. They're talking about splitting it multiple ways. So they're already gearing up. And I don't know if the CFO knows where that contract is going, what the likelihood of them getting part of the contract is. But he's alluding to the fact that they want to be able to do about half a billion dollars each year in revenue off of that factory. So they are looking at possibly a half of that USPS contract. And this is not the only time that he alludes to this same amount. So I'll show it later in the video. But he talks about it again. Now, the other thing that he talks about Hitachi possibly being able to do is provide some financing to their clients. So he talks about that about halfway through the video if you're looking for it. You know, financing, I think when you think about Hitachi, they could certainly bring financing to us if that's what we wanted to do. Yeah. But I would think it more as bringing financing to our customers and giving them an opportunity to finance the trucks and or the infrastructure. So that's interesting. He was talking about how they're not really looking to Hitachi for extra cash on their balance sheet or anything like that. They already have $100 million worth of cash. They're looking at the fact that they might be able to help some of their customers get financing, but they are not in need of financing right now. They have a lot of cash sitting around already, which I think is really good. They're not looking to really need any more cash in the short term. 
Now, again, later in the video, he alludes to that 10,000 trucks a year, and I'm going to show that here. Trucks a year, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're looking to be at 5,000, 10,000 C series trucks a year. Um, and that's where Itachi's expertise, they've done this for so many manufacturing companies have gone in and actually looked at. So the, right there, he alludes to 10,000 vehicles again, hitting on the same fact. So I think that's really good news. Again, they're either gearing up because they already know the USPS contract and kind of what it's going to look like, or they're just getting ready for it. So either way, I think it's really good. They're going to be able to produce a lot of vehicles. And later in the interview, he talks about how they're not just going after that USPS contract. Jack had a really good question, kind of alluding to Walmart and how they're trying to compete with some other competitors and be able to have refrigerated trucks. And this is a really great question he had. He asked if they were in any talks with these chains right now, and I find it really interesting what the CFO said. I'm just wondering, are you in talks with Walmart or any other major retailers that you're able to speak of as of right now, or is there any other kind of involvements in that realm right now? I think you should consider that we're in talks with everyone you would think we'd be in talks with. <laughs> so he just says, yeah, we're basically in talks with a lot of different people. Uh, we're doing everything we can do. I think that's awesome. I think that they're going to be able to expand to other other lines of business that they're not really in right now. And maybe that's not where all the hype is right now, but that is something that's out there in the future. So there is a lot of other stuff that's covered in this interview. This is just about two minutes of the 15 minute interview. So definitely check that out. But Jack, if you're watching this, I would love to see your reaction. I did this for a previous interview that you had with the CFO and a lot of people messaged Jack in his video saying, hey, go check out my video. So that way, Jack knew that I'd like him to do a reaction. I mean, that's kind of like Inception, kind of like how Graham Stephan does a video about how much money he makes and then he does a video about how much money he makes on that video and back and forth. So we're kind of doing that a little bit here, Jack, but comment down below if you want to see Jack do a reaction to his video. Go see this video too. Take a look at it after you, you're you done with this video and tell him on the video that you want him to watch my video so that way he knows that I want his reaction again. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate it. If you don't mind hitting that like button, I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can get as many likes as Jack has in the first couple hours of this video being up. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Again, that link to SoFi Money is right there in the description to get you 50 free dollars to start investing that can get you two shares or two and a half shares of Workhorse. Thanks guys, bye-bye.